Has money become tight? Or do you hate your job and want to try your hand at something that gives you direct benefit for your efforts? Freelancing can be the perfect option for you to explore. Here's why. First, it's low risk, meaning it costs nothing to start, and you can stop at any time. Second, it's flexible. You are your own boss and can work according to your schedule. You might be hesitating because you have some outdated notions of freelancing. It's no longer just former corporate types who decide to offer their consulting services as a free agent. The gig economy and the rise of easy-to-use online platforms have created a huge demand for all types of freelancing services, including jobs for absolute beginners. So if you're looking to become a freelancer, but don't have a lot of formal training, education or experience, you're in the right place. In this video, we're going to discuss 12 types of freelance jobs that are perfect for beginners and don't require any schooling or prior experience to start. These freelance jobs span across different areas, including personal services, manual labor, transportation, IT, and much more. Of course, you'll need to have, or develop over time, some degree of skill to be successful, but there are no formal barriers to entry for these types of jobs. What that means is that if you're determined, hardworking, and committed to improving your skills, you can absolutely thrive as a freelancer and make great money in the process. Okay, let's get into it. Number 1. Virtual Assistant If you're organized, have strong attention to detail, and have a knack for getting things done quickly and efficiently, then being a virtual assistant can be the perfect freelance job for you. Virtual assistants, or VAs for short, handle many personal tasks for their clients, including scheduling meetings, arranging travel plans, and handling all types of miscellaneous administrative tasks. VAs can also act as customer service reps and perform data entry functions, depending on the job. Getting started is easy. You can offer your services as a VA through established platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, and FlexJobs. Number 2. Errand Runner Similar to VAs, errand runners perform key day-to-day -day functions for people who are too busy or otherwise can't perform these functions for themselves. These tasks include grocery shopping, picking up and dropping off items, or people, like kids, as well as light housekeeping. The senior citizen market is a big one for errand runners. Getting started is simple. If you have a phone and a reliable way to get around, you can offer your services as an errand runner through a number of platforms, including care.com and taskrabbit.com. If you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps a lot and really motivates me to create better and better content. Thanks. Number 3. Voice Over Artist If you can read, have a clear and pleasant voice, and can do different types of voices and accents, you might have a great future as a freelance voice over artist. There are tons of opportunities through the mega sites like Upwork and Fiverr, but there are less well-known options too. With the emergence of audiobooks, there is a growing need for voiceover artists who can convert existing books into audiobooks. One of the best sites for this is ACX. You can look for jobs listed there and audition to read for books that will become available on Amazon, iTunes, and more. You just need to sign up, create a profile, and submit some samples. What's cool is that you can get paid in two ways, a straight-up fee or a cut of the book's royalties. So if you believe in the book, you can actually become a co-producer of the audiobook and share in the profits. Number 4. Writer If you prefer a job that you can do sitting down at a desk, then freelance writing may be right for you. You can write books, articles, marketing copy, or even offer editorial services. There are vibrant marketplaces for all of these type of writing assignments. You can offer your writing services directly on sites like Fiverr and Upwork. If you like writing blog post articles, then ProBlogger can be a great place to offer your services to bloggers who want quality articles written on their behalf. Or you can choose to work for any of the large content mills like TextBroker, iWriter, ContentFly, and the like. Number 5. Tutor If you have a knack for teaching, you can become an online tutor. With the emergence of large online tutoring platforms like Tutor.com, Learner.com, and Schooly.com, there are plenty of ways to get freelance tutoring jobs. Note, some platforms will require that you have a teaching certification. If you're a native English speaker and want a really low-key way to make some extra money, then you can sign up to chat with someone who wants to improve their English. As you can imagine, there are many people who want to become fluent English speakers and they recognize the value in practicing with a native speaker. They may want to improve pronunciation, expand their vocabulary, or get rid of undesired accents from their speech, and are willing to pay for your help. If you want to learn more about this low-key approach to making money, check out my full article on how to get started in the link below. Number 6. 
software developer and IT service provider. If you know how to program or are willing to learn, there are plenty of opportunities for you to help those who are less technically inclined. In many cases, you don't even need a formal education. There are plenty of freelancers who are self-taught and successful. But bear in mind that it's a popular space, so competition will be high. If you want to check out opportunities in this space, go to sites like Fiverr, Upwork, FlexJobs and Turing. Number 7. Social Media Manager If you are a whiz at social media and understand how popular platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest and other social media channels operate, you can make decent money freelancing as a social media manager. As with the other options on this list, there are no set requirements to break into this space. You'll be asked to represent your client's business on the desired social channels. Tasks may include responding to comments, creating campaigns and developing content for upload to the social channels. You may also be asked to monitor performance and provide reports to assess how things are going. To get started, jump onto sites like Fiverr and Upwork, sign up, and begin offering your services. Number 8. Designer If you have an artistic bent, you can become a designer. You can help people with web design, create logos for companies, or even offer t-shirt and other custom design services. What I love about this space is that your success 100% depends on how appealing your designs are. In other words, it's a level playing field, which I like. You can absolutely compete with designers that went to fancy design schools and spent thousands on their education and training. Clients aren't really going to care where you went to school. They're going to want amazing designs that match their business needs. As long as your work product is better, you'll win. As with many of these other freelancing jobs, check out Fiverr and Upwork. For more specialized platforms, check out creatively.life. Number 9. Translator if you're fluent in two or more languages, you can offer freelance translation services. Again, Fiverr and Upwork both have categories for this type of service, but there are custom platforms for translators as well, like Django and Textmaster. Number 10. Transportation Provider A very popular freelance gig that doesn't require any significant qualifications is being an Uber or Lyft driver. If you prefer to deliver food instead of people, you can also drive for platforms like DoorDash and Grubhub. You can even deliver packages or other cargo, if your vehicle is big enough, through sites like GoShare and Amazon Flex. The nice thing about having so many options is that you can pick and choose what works best for you and your lifestyle. Remember, you're not an employee of any of these platforms, so you generally don't have hard commitments to any of them. Number 11. Painter. If you are able-bodied, have access to some basic painting supplies, like brushes, rollers, pans, ladders, and so on, and have some means of getting around with your painting equipment and supplies, you can become a painter. Again, no special requirements or experience are needed for this type of work. There are plenty of people who are willing to pay someone to paint a room, or even their whole house, because they can't or don't want to do the job themselves. Plus it's an area that is evergreen. In other words, people will always need this service performed. You can find plenty of painting jobs on sites like Who's, Thumbtack, and TaskRabbit. Number 12. Handyman If you are handy fixing things around the house, you can become a handyman and find freelance jobs on sites like CraftJack, Who's, Thumbtack, and TaskRabbit. Bear in mind that certain state and local municipalities may have licensing and other requirements if you want to perform certain handyman services. So there you have it, 12 easy freelancing jobs that you can start right away. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to get more great content like this, please consider subscribing. It helps a lot and I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.